Hi guys, good morning. So, I will be discussing this situation to problem. So, this is the BIM. Um, well, uh, please take note of this values because later we will not be having this values for we will be going to the next slides. Now, these are the elements of the BIM that are uh, needed to be solved. Okay, now um let's get started okay so take note of this as okay so for the depth of compression black here is the drawing now as you can see um in this problem the area of the, of the compression block is no longer a rectangle so the area is not just a times b so if this is the depth of compression black this is a known as, as, and as you can see, the base of the compression block is Z, which is also unknown. Later, we will be calculating uh, the area of this, the, the area of the compression block. Um, we will be having two unknowns. Um, let us just make the expression uh, has, let us make the expression to have only one unknown variable so let us go let us get the relationship between a and z so to do that uh, let's do similar triangles so let us take base is to height so referring to this smaller triangle then referring to the larger triangle or the entire beam base 400 then height um, total of 600 So, simplifying, we can say that Z is equal to, to, to two-thirds of A. Alright, now, let us take summation of forces horizontal uh, equal zero. So, because the beam should be in equilibrium condition, even it is subjected to two forces okay directed to the left equals directed to the right so therefore c is equal to t then we know that forces are equal to stress times area for the stress of concrete it is 0.85 f prime c um by the way class that 0.85 f prime c was the equivalent rectangular or uniform stress uh, that was proposed by charles whitney okay so this is the stress of the beam then the area of the compression block one half base times height so area of triangle then for the t the tensile strength of the beam the stress is fs the area is as uh, as is is for 32 mm diameter bars right Okay, so let us simplify. Let us replace Z by its equivalent expression in terms of A. Then simplify again. Cancel this, this two. Therefore, we can see that the area of the compression block has a final expression of A squared over 3. Alright. Now, assuming that it still yields, therefore Fs is is greater than fy or fs is equal to fy whatever happens the the fs to be used should be fy okay so this stress is now in fy substituting the values so we have the f prime c a while ago as well as the fy and the and this is the 432 mm diameter bars okay therefore the only unknown is a therefore we can have this a and a is 33.36 sorry 336.96 mm but take note class we cannot uh, yet say that this is the final answer for we still have the assumption we assumed that the steel reinforcement yields so we we are going to check our assumption so to to check the assumption we need to get the true value of fs so to do that we should have this the value of the c okay check assumption um using the the this provision from our nscp substituting the values 
this beta one is still 0.85 since f prime c does not exceed 28 okay so c is equal to this one then um, using the fs formula that was derived from strain diagram okay substituting the values this, this is also given class fs is 156.77 um checking this value or comparing this value to to that of fy our fy is 270 so you can see that this fs is very small it is less than fy so our conclusion since fs is less than fy still reinforcement does not yield therefore wrong assumption okay then actually class um if you will uh if you will watch the video one of this flexural strength you will see that when fs is less than fy the condition of the beam is compression controlled okay so class since we are wrong we are we 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 have here a wrong assumption calculation we need to recompute okay recompute c equals t this is the final expression then re-express again replace a by its equivalent expression in terms of c okay beta 1 c this is the beta 1 class then for the fs this is the expression okay so all values are available except for the c so we can obtain the c using using actually this is a cubic equation okay so c is equal to 363.02 then after having the c uh, if we are after with a let us just multiply it by beta 1 okay and uh this is now our a uh equal so our a now is equal to 308.56 all right um let's have the 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 next value to be solved okay the compressive strength of concrete so this is equal to c so stress times area the stress is 0.85 f prime c the ac is a squared over 3 so substituting the values this is our problem this is our um value by the way class i noticed an error in here uh the f prime c is 27 no so this should not be 21 okay by the way let me check this one Okay, so calculating 0.85 f prime c 27, then a 308.56 squared over 3. Alright, so we are still correct. So this is just a typographical, uh, er uh, typographical error. Okay, alright, so let's go back with our calculation okay so to have the moment capacity of the beam class um, you said a while ago that that the moment is equal to force times distance so the force could be c or t uh, let us just choose between these two since they are equal then the lever arm if this is the d which is equal to 500 um, if this A is acting at the center of the compression block, therefore we can say that C is two thirds of A distance from the from the top, right? So C is equal to to sorry, C has distance of two thirds of A from the top from our geometry knowledge. So the lever arm in here is D minus two thirds of A all right okay so how about the reduction factor class well we know that our fs is behind fy so in our graph the point is some somewhere in here and since we fall under this this portion therefore we can say that we that, that the beam is 
compression controlled condition. So if we are going to read the graph, the reduction factor is 0.65. All right. So the reduction factor is 0.65, the C value, which happens to be the T value also, the D as well as the A. Therefore, we have the value, the final answer, 139.33.